we are interfering your Lloyd Fields and um, I can't wait so all of these people that are coming out have an important very important message so therefore it's important to listen to the message it's very key so we should be interviewing We have Floyd in the house. <laughs> Floyd, Floyd Fields. I did it again. I apologize. I deeply apologize there. Did I did say that earlier that I probably uh. Lloyd Fields. <laughs> <laughs> I could be embarrassed or just have the clear conscience that I said, oh, okay, I'm gonna have clear conscience. You're okay. We're brought together today to raise awareness on things very close to your heart um you were recommended to myself um about your modella project uh which was formed in 1987 to 1990 is that correct mm -hmm. about that time um but it, that journey was about resilience and I'd like to know a little bit about that journey and what that project was and what you're doing currently also and what your message is for the day. Okay. Well, the, uh, I guess uh, the, that's a big question. I mean, that, that question that you, that you just gave is, is, is full of stuff. I don't know if I could be able to, to speak about it. I mean, uh, tell you everything about it within a and what 45 minutes or so i don't know how, how, but, I mean, how about this quote is this entirely this i felt that the community is bleeding within itself people out there are living day to day with no hope so they have to change they have to change the way they are thinking so it's going to take an internal change have more concern for each other have more feelings and through for the more feelings for the people around you. Big statement in that. It is a big statement. It is a big statement. It is a big statement. I mean, you know, uh, Dr. Mills, who's my mentor, who was my mentor, he's, he's uh, since passed now. Uh, he was the, the author of the, the Medell Project, you know, and uh, I guess, um, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to say it in a nutshell, that uh, he was challenged to do, uh, to see whether this modality, the three principle modality, could help anybody. Right? Could help anybody. Could help people in uh, that were in the situation like Modelo, you know, in a- Modelo uh, is, is it a housing complex? Yes. That's it's a housing know. complex. Okay, let's uh, say what it is. So in house and, it, and mind you, again, like I said, when I'm talking about Modelo is, I'm trying to rehash some stuff that happened over 30 years ago. Uh, Modelo doesn't exist now, you know, it's a, you know, it's a new, a, a entirely new community there now and uh, uh, people are gone uh, to do their thing, whatever, but it was basically a, one of the, uh, a housing community in South Florida, which uh, was riddled with, um, was riddled with um, drugs, uh, um uh, crime it was a and it was real small it was a real small little it was a real small housing project kind of like uh in the middle almost in the middle of nowhere you know if you will but it was just so uh riddled with different things um and uh he was dr mills was challenged to go in there to see uh to see if 
the three principles, which was called health realization back then, um, if it if it would if it would work. So he was given a grant uh, to you know uh, to house to have a a social worker, which that's I played that role, a social worker, uh, uh, a social worker assistant, and and. And using the three principles, we targeted the children, we targeted uh, families, and we, tar uh, we targeted um, the, the schools, everything that kind of like impacted uh, uh, the family, right? Mm -hmm. And we taught the three principles, you know, to the family, to the children, to uh, social service agency people, to school educators, uh, to law enforcement. And we just wanted to see what would happen. And what happened was, you read the book, right? Nope. <laughs> nope. Yeah, you didn't read the book? Nope. Oh, uh, we got to cut this all off now. You got to go read the book. No, 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 no. I put in, I, I, I put in my mind what I want to put in my mind. I, 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 but it'll be good. I speak a different language, you know. When it, how I would take and receive information is important to me that I understand what I'm reading or I understand what I'm watching. Uh, so I'm okay. implementing somebody's perception on me. I'm very careful with with someone's perception i'm open exploring but reading books hmm, i'm only interested well oh, i'm gonna tell you about reading books I, i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you carrie <laughs> uh and and i mean to your point i don't like to read either but uh that i find is a good that modella book is a good read and you can get it in audio too now and that's so, so now that that now, now you're talking so to understand the experience, yes, I watched the video um, which is on YouTube. So that's where I got a lot of the information. Okay. On. So I've done a little bit of, before I spoke to you, a little bit of research on the kind of uh, steps to change back then to how it actually in, enrolls and applies to today's actions also. It's the okay. same, same thing throughout. Um, hmm. How do you speak to the little ones then to get them give it give us a, a, a an example hold on just one get, second okay go ahead i'm doing a presentation yeah how do you um describe what you're talking about or get a, a children to change the outcome or mind how do you do that for instance what is the youngest that you can get them to see sense or that's what you're trying to say right well i can't tell you mm. I, I i'll put it this way uh when we the way my mentor taught me right he taught me if you really want to teach somebody how to do this if you want to teach somebody about the the three principles the most important thing this is this is what he this is what he kind of like instilled in me was to get the three principles for yourself you want to get it out you get it for yourself you want to get it out you get it for yourself you want to go deep you get it for yourself you have to go deep for yourself first and the more that you get it for yourself then you understand how the three principles will kind of unfold in, in you in a way to reach out to the people that you need to reach out to. So um, the way that the three principles impacted me, uh, I just shared myself with the kids or with the you know with an adult or with uh with um um 
an administrator. It's just, I can't say, well, uh, you do this, you do this, and you do this, and it will work for you. Do you uh, mean, uh, when you said you shared yourself, yeah. um, you mean you were open? I'm trying to put it in an English terms for me. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> there's in different languages here, aren't we? Um, so but I know that we, what, what the message is, what you're trying to say, which is the same similar aim with myself, um, to wake up. But if somebody's trying to understand this, they're going to keep searching for what this three principles is. Good. <laughs> good they should good i mean yeah, we can be you mean can be, literally going online and looking for this information that's what right. i mean well i'm saying <laughs> what i'm i'm if you really want to get uh like the get the vitality out of the out of the modality if you want to get the <laughs> You know, you can go and read, and it's good to, and you know, I could talk to you about mind consciousness and thought and explain it to you academically, if you will, right? And that's mostly how uh, you would share it with somebody. You talk about what is the mind? What is consciousness? What does thought mean? And that's like very academic, if you understand what I'm saying, just very so that's you where know. the conversations are not happening, isn't it, in the community? Not a lot of the community. Um, they're not having those conversations. So it's very rare to find somebody that's actually saying, hold on, let me stop. What is happening to my life? How does it keep, how does this mistake keep happening? What am I doing? How do I find myself in this environment, the same behavior over and over again, falling down the same pothole over and over again? When am I actually right. going to take a different way around yeah. this thought process than I've ever done before? So that's why if I were to put it in a term where on the prevention side of health, where people may, they're in the discovery, discovery is plant and seed. So from the way I'm going to interpret it, it would be like to look, you can see where life had been and may have not felt comfortable, you can change that. And some people are in this rut where they can't see through the forest. And it's then the behaviors occur, etc. It's all very well putting out this message, talking about uh, three principles, but it's not going to resonate to uh, some people to just put out that little reel at the minute, that's what you're saying. Put the reel out at the minute of thought <laughs> on the table. <laughs> Let them analyze it for themselves and what you're saying. It's a get up and go and get it attitude. I did write down the fact that three principles, how your thinking creates your reality yeah. by sharing, and this is where I've put in brackets, raising awareness, we can make the change by the thinking we do. Um, and that's why it's important when I said about raising awareness in anyone's message, what you're trying to deliver out here. Mm -hmm. and there's more listening, more interaction. Absolutely. Small steps, thinking, oh, wanting change. Uh, thinking of change now. Parent has an impact on positive thinking. I don't know why I put that. Parents have an impact on positive thinking. Absolutely. Absolutely. So there's, there's two people or more in one household, isn't there? So yes. you're totally interacting with yes. different personalities and different ways of thinking and different also levels of trauma or experiences. Yes. So breaking that mold 
to someone who doesn't go off the rails, it's important to sit down and have discussions about consequences more than anything. You know, does that make sense? Because I we... think I, I think that's yeah, I, I think that's possible. I think that's something. Uh, but the three principles, we, if you're talking about the three principles in a pure sense, in a really pure sense, um, if when you teach the principles from that innate place, all of that other stuff that you're talking about, it tends to work itself out on uh, organically. What do you mean you know, stuff? You mean when I was saying when people were in a bad place, you mean that other stuff? That other stuff, yes. Yeah, and in a bad place, uh, if uh, it it tends to just work itself out, like like say for example, if you if you have ever had an enlightenment about something, right? Can I say an enlightenment? Yeah, please. Or or. Uh, I'm trying to use words that that make sense to people. Enlightenment, uh, an epiphany, an awakening, about, an awakening. Something about, happens where just what you went through, like what moment. Right. I think you know when you understand, when you learn what the uh, uh, learn the principles, the the principles facilitate those occurrences a lot. Mm. You know, and you become more aware of those um, those enlightenments, those epiphanies, those aware the awakening. I know that everybody's using the term woke now. I'm woke now, you know. <laughs> um, it facilitates organically, intrinsically, those uh, those experiences more often. Right. So and and so when you know when you when you understand those principles, it's they're like a it's, it's like a big light, and wherever you shine that light, you see something that you did not see before. So you know it's one thing for me to tell you or tell somebody, hey, you can do it. You could do this. You could do anything you want. You can, you can change. You can change the world if you want to. You can uh, change your life just by doing this, 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 and this. But if they're not receptive to that, you know, they may not be in a space to be able to receive that. You follow me? It's just like, okay. you know, you just you might as well be talking to a talking to a wall. But that's why I have three stages of recovery, mm -hmm. you know, the, the three R's for me. And that mm -hmm. the three stages of recovery is because, first of all, you, you know, somebody, I was that person, so I can give an example, uh, you know, when, when we're talking about, over here, we're talking a lot about mental health, you know, we do over here. Um, and the mental health is really bad for, not getting any help out there, etc. And so when I, when I, when I used to be in that situation, oh my God, who was going to change the outcome for me? Nobody. Oh, absolutely no one. You know, I think what I, I think what people want is a listening ear, but it is, it is them that actually undoes that puzzle with information to make a decision which in you press the right button with individuals if you speak their their kind of love language where they will where they will relate to you because you, you know we're not for everyone we're not meant to be for everyone if that was the case then there would life wouldn't be a challenge would it you know we'd all be good we'd all be there, there wouldn't be no crime there'd be nothing so i think well when i look at somebody's named it as three principles somebody named it as three principles no different than naming the holy one with the message within it so I, I think people get tied up with 
Yeah, free mind, thought, consciousness, get it. But what is it about for the individuals? And I believe it's change. Because all your words, all of the things is wisdom, allowing people to help you. Having to work through their past to move forward. I've taken this from your uh, video. And it's even saying drug trafficking address, which means addressing the addiction here. This is what we do, address all the addiction. Where's it coming from? Why are you using that as a uh, way of self-harm? Because I call it self-harm. Why are you using that? And I get them to people to look at that. That's that, that that's a solution, but that's not going to get to the root end of it. And then what happens tomorrow? You know. Right. So it's about carrying through love and understanding. You've got down. I've got down the reason. It says helping the police. <laughs> this is seeing the people as. As, as people, and if you there is a crime, you're going to call them anyway, right? You're going to want some protection. Something happens to yourself, you're going to call them. You have to call them, don't you? So one way or another, it's not treating and tarnishing everybody with the same brush, right? Right. Okay. Um, looking at the pattern. Looking at what? Looking at the pattern. Okay. The pattern. Okay. The pattern. Yeah. Uh, behavior. Looking at the patterns of behavior. That's what I got down. Common sense, that's what it says. Um, plant the seeds, give it some water, and watch it grow. Yeah. Yeah. So, so where you are now, um, you talked about that you help people with around domestic violence, etc. So we're looking at you apply that by talking and being yourself, giving your life experiences. Life experiences. I mean, it's, I, I, again, the more you understand the three principles, uh, the more it kind of gives you uh, license to be present with people more, to be present uh, you know, because say, for example, I know, you know, uh, I have a PhD and I have certifications on how to do things or how to use different modalities other than, you know, the three principle kind of thing. That's like, it's, it's sort of like, if I, if you will, like, if, if, if you was a, uh, a soldier, and I was to give you a gun. Now I can teach you how to shoot a gun. That's one thing, but uh, but showing you how, or giving you the understanding on how to use it effectively is another thing. So all the all the all the uh, the know how that I have, the three principles, kind of like gives me or helps me with that wisdom innate wisdom on on what to use and how to use what i have in my arsenal to help others so um i can use the three principles helping other people and not talk about the three principles that's right <laughs> right yeah i mean I'm, i mean i can i can talk about stuff and never say mind consciousness and thought you know uh because the three principles is deeper than the words it's just it's the knowing it's just knowing it's just following your knowing it's following that innate wisdom and understanding on how to help somebody yes you know i could use uh the orthodox uh, best practices, uh, um, skill sets to help, you know, my, the population that I work with, you know, but I also understand that everybody uh, is created 
in their own. They're created individually. They're created uniquely. They have a unique uh, sense of being. And so, and their, and their experiences are all unique, right? So uh, I'm, I see myself when I'm in a help mode, I'm more like a, 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 um, a haberdasher. Uh, a person who I'm looking at you. You know what a haberdasher is? No. <laughs> a haberdasher is, uh, you know, uh, I don't know what you call it. What you call the the uh, the the people who like who uh, uh, gives you a suit and tailors the, a suit, your dress, the way you uh, just for you to make the compliment. Yeah. A seamstress, okay. <laughs> and a seamstress would look at you you know, look at you and, and measure, you know, your shoulders, you know, the width and all that kind of stuff to, to, to give you the best fit of the clothes that fits you. Now, the next person that comes may have your same size, but not your same, uh, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, your curvature, you know. Yeah, a little bit. But it's all in the same size, but that tailor, that seamstress will cut and make it fit best for that person and make you feel like a, make you feel like a, a new woman, a new man, a million bucks, right? And that's why, that's how I look at uh, using my skill set. It's the skill set of knowing and understanding and skill set of learning, skill set of being present with, uh, with the population that I'm working with. It could be with an individual, it could be with a, a, a family, it could be with a community. It's, you know, it's, it's pretty much all the same. You said people that say you haven't quite got it right yet. Say what? Right. What, do you, what do you say to people that would say, oh, you don't know what you're talking about, you haven't got it right yet. You and know? that's okay, that's okay. Is that That's all right. It's all right. Right. Yeah. Um, but, but do you go out with your, I mean, the people you've helped, their testimonials speak for itself, really, don't it? You know, I mean, I think when you're looking back, I looked into the video, like I said, when you're looking at that, the story and you're hearing those incredible testimonials of people saying, Everybody had something, a story to tell, but it was what they did was they searched deep within themselves in a time of need, in a time of desperation, in a time, whatever it was that they needed change, you know, um, they needed to be identified as people rather than pests. That's what I, that's what I see that there's people have a different look at life. Everybody not has one, it's not one size fits all, is it? Do you know what I mean? Everyone's got a different skill, craft, Absolutely. ability. Absolutely. And when Absolutely. you think in biblical times, they said that somebody has, you had a fisherman, a craftsman, etc. Everybody has a different skill. Right. And so, and that, that, that needs to be recognized when we're talking about helping everyone. No one's above anyone here. But the, the skill set may be just slightly different to reach a certain level of different people, different language. But for instance, if I want to speak to you and you spoke French, I don't speak French. How are you going to communicate with me? Look. Food. Food? <laughs> <laughs> Food. Food. You know, this is the thing if you, about learning people's Languages, we're not just talking vocal words, body languages, tones, you know, if somebody's, do you know what people do in this? What does that mean? What does that read? Do you know what I mean? That language there. What is that? The, the body, everybody, you can tell when someone's closed off, when they're willing to talk, when they're open, when they're not, but something's, maybe they're hesitant. But the minute you can sit there and just, I don't care. <laughs> right. Is an experience, right? You know, and that is holding yourself accountable for your happiness. But this is the way I had to come from being a self harmer 
um, replacing self-harming. It's not just a temporary thing, was it? But replacing the habits, replacing the drink, not going to drink when I'm in, in somebody's upset me, knowing how to handle that upset without it stealing my energy or enjoyment or my tears, and then figure out why am I crying? I ain't crying for me, I'm crying for them. <laughs> they ain't got it yet. They didn't know how to be kind yet. Oh my God, they're doing everything I used to do. And so therefore I can see how I've grown. Um, I can see how I stand true in myself now and have, I use different languages to people because they get my concept. Boundaries, space, ownership. You only get this time. Tomorrow's not promised. But how are we going to live to today, this moment, this minute? What have you got planned for your, what's the outcome, you know? So it's about the plan. That's how I talk to um, the people that I'm dealing with within the community when trying to master through the mental health. Can't disregard a love language that they're accustomed to. And that was the word mental health. So breaking that stigma is important for me to remove the labels. Because that's those labels. Labels, 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 labels. Doesn't give us a true reflection of our abilities, though, does it? Right. Yeah. Are we speaking the same language, you think? Um, sort of. <laughs> That's okay, too. You know, if, if we were speaking the identical language from each other, then nobody would, oh, we'd be telepathic. And I wouldn't have to want anything <laughs> at all. But seriously, that is the thing. You expect it to be te telepathic. And I think right. that's where you say small steps to change and identify that, reward that change. What I can't stand is somebody going, I said change now. Right. It doesn't work like that. No, it, it does. It takes a progression of trust. First of all, you who is giving me the message. What do I know about your background? What do I know about you? Where, where have you come from? You are, when you meet a stranger, you want to take the opportunity of what they're saying, yes, there and then. And I think whether or not you go up to listen to messengers or not, you, 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 would you go follow that message because it feels healthy, it feels good, it feels that it's going to keep me out of trouble, it's going to keep me off the on the straight and narrow just or follow another message right and down the pub which is open again over here right. lockdown lockdown is now down the pub but i reckon the down the pub will be locked up most of them because you know drinking excited got freedom and everything else but that's not productive using your brain productive you know mm -hmm. gonna set some people right back down to depression set some people right back down or probably in prison because they're drinking and driving. Uh, it's going to cause domestic violence all over again. And in those per those cycles. And it's nice when at least one by one, someone changes that pattern. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, and that's true. I, I My goal is well, you know how you know you know the old cliche. If I could just help one person, I've done. But uh, I've I kind of like disagree with that. Um, I feel like I believe, and I know that I can help a lot of people. Right, and I'm like, uh, you know, there's a there's a. Uh, there's a scripture in the Bible that talks about uh, uh, man's eyes is never, uh, the, the, the thirst of man is never quenched. And it's just not enough for one, just one person. I get it. I get it. But I'm, I'm greedy. I want more than one person to be happy, you know, because the world to be happy. happy and I'm I if you're happy and I'm not happy you know I mean real happiness true happiness mm -hmm. that true happiness will seek out 
the happiness than another person. And if that person is not happy, I mean, real true happiness is going to seek out the reason why, try to and try to help that person. You know, um, I mean, in the in the purest sense, I'm talking about in the real pure sense of what happiness and contentment is. It when you have a, a, a contentment and you walking around in in uh, in a true spirit of contentment. Uh, it reaches out, it calls to other people, not just one person, but it calls out to a lot of people. And, and when people see that that contentment is on you, they want to know what's up. I mean, they want to know, you know, what's making you, what's making you like, oh my goodness. And I, and it's like they they're saying to themselves, I want, shoot, I want what I want what you got. What what is it that you have? So, and that's where the that's where you can share. That's where you know a, a person is really open to hear what is it that's you know uh, that what is it in you that is speaking to them that is grabbing them so much, if you will. I totally understand, and again, you know, when I receive messages. It's like all the messages people say to me, whatever you're doing, gal, keep up with it because you look really well, but it's doing you really good. Because they, you know, some of these people could see where I was before. Right. So seeing a change Absolutely. of where I am now. I mean, you don't know me. You know? So when I speak to everybody, I speak, I'm still in the thought process that everyone knows who I am. <laughs> they don't know who I am, but you don't know my struggles. So what I'm trying to show is, yeah, I've been there. But there's more to life than that now. Absolutely. You know? And so and that, that's why I like doing what I'm doing. I, I just wanted to say, hey, I, I am a testimonial. I am here. I can help you. can help your family as well to, to, to get, you know, understand what one another, what unkind behavior can do to one another. Also raising awareness and spotting the red flags and the dangers. Totally different ball game when People have mentally been bogged down with that depression. Uh, I felt that um, majority of my life. Now I'm on small steps to change. Um, and uh, set for I've always wanted to run. Do you know what I mean? I've been taking some big leaps, different ones, overcoming fear. And that's the biggest thing overcoming fear. What harm? can it do even technology overcoming the fact that hold on a minute are you going to let a text message bother you or something from a something you know but somebody you never met it's actually a hologram isn't it um right. in a sense where we are right now i don't look you're not even in my house that's you see what i'm saying you're nowhere around here you're not here but you're here but you're, right. are you? Because the minute I closed down this laptop, was you really here? And the that's, only thing, the only thing I've got, the evidence. Right. <laughs> the evidence of leaving the history. We was here. <laughs> yeah, we was here. Yeah, exactly. But, but that's how I, I tried to explain, unless you've got a physical person in front of you, it doesn't really happen much behind closed doors, does it? Four people, I mean, sorry, four walls, one individual perhaps living at home alone all the all the time. Tell me what you've got to be depressed about. If no one's bugging you, you have not got no dinner to do, no this, that and the other, what do you have to be depressed about? You know? So somebody that's got a whole heap of money, don't money's not an option, not an issue. Why are they depressed? Sometimes it's never enough, is it, material stuff? Of course it isn't. And that's the material. That's the issue. Is we, when you lose everything, <laughs> when you lose and you hit that rock bottom, hitting that rock bottom, I mean losing everything, including the dog, including the kitchen sink, when you have nothing anymore, that's the time I realised I've got nowhere else to run. 
and I, <laughs> I was so sick and tired of trying to end my life and it failing and then I felt almost humiliated again because it failed do you know what I mean and then I came to realize after all those failed attempts had I not been here I wouldn't have been making a difference to people either there would have been more dead lives there'd have been so many more lives taken through my love language and through my understanding of what I'm doing today, raising awareness, that has actually saved people's lives online. And that's nice when they say that I saved them, so I didn't. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Right. I can't take credit for something that somebody did, which was to reach out. To say, hey, I've had enough. I need change. Because that's, that's what someone's saying. I need change. When they get to that crisis point, you know what? I can't speak for everybody, but uh, I certainly have heard the stories and the testimonials. So this positive thinking to break those barriers down and to replace the unhealthy coping strategies, we have to replace everything that we knew, what we were taught, and we teach ourselves. That's what I found I had to do but recognize patterns, behaviors, triggers, environment, what I was personally doing to contribute to my health. So that's, that's something I had to, to learn, to um, still learning, to have some self-respect for myself. <laughs> Does that make sense? To think pure. To, I, I find it sometimes that I would like to just, cuss somebody off and tell them about their self in the old me. I really sometimes am really and and, and uh -huh. then I know that 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 that's gonna be me. So I'm then very careful with the message how I want to deliver that and say it. But what's the lesson that I learned from it? And that's what I always ask myself, what's the lesson that you're learning from this? What is the lesson that you're learning from it? And um, when you know that, you gonna keep smiling, isn't you? <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. But you, you are helping many people now. What is the main message you want to get out to people um, that are just hearing about who you are for the first? That time? there is that there is hope. I mean, and that hope doesn't come from outside, it comes from within. And if you go within, if you, if you look for it within, it's gonna be a wellspring versus out here. Out here, you get something, you may get some hope out here, uh, but it's not, uh, divine, if you will. It's not, um, it's limited. From within that place, it is limitless. I agree. I really do agree. And, and, and I, I, know, I would never have said this, that I would have agreed with you um, a few years back, um, let's say four years back or so. I probably wouldn't have agreed. I was speaking a different language. I was, um, I'd be the one that'd be arguing all the time, you know? I'd, and that's, I mean, and that's, and that's happened. That's, that's natural. That's, you know, if you don't know, you don't know. But once you know, it's that knowing. Once you have the, go back. once you have that understanding, yeah. it's, it takes you, it really does take you to another dimension or other dimensions. So, um, you know, it's, you have to be in the place to hear it. And sometimes, you know, the, the person who's given it may have the ability. Sometimes I do have the ability, whether you, whether you don't want to hear it, whether you want to hear it or not, I can say something and that will be the key for you to open up your own innate wisdom to get it. 
You follow me? And you, you, and you won't, and at the time, you probably won't be open to hear it, but there, but there was something I said or done that would trigger the opening, push the button for you. You know, it's, it's possible. Now, I remember uh, when I was working in Modelo, we used to work in teams. I had a, I had a team uh, person, right? Person work along with me. And we used to, we recognized that sometimes uh, if I, we were speaking to this person right here, and if, if I would come along first and say something, that would impact this person positively. They may not get it from me, but my partner would come back around and say the same thing. And all of a sudden they just, you know, you follow me and or vice versa. Well, it's a bit like, if, well, I can give a classic example to that. I mean, I know a lot of people would say that they'd go down for the mental health services. Oh, it's not working, it's not working for me. And then you've got other people say, oh, it is working for me, it is working for me. But you've got people that go down the mental health services and are expecting to some miracle. They're expecting, oh, well, I just said they're expecting me. Can you please stop me from thinking like this? Um, you know, I don't want to think like this. That's what they're saying. I don't want to think like this. And, right. and when I, I remember first going with the mental health services and saying, I don't want to think, this voice is telling me I'm not good enough, but this one's telling me, hold on, sister, hold on. <laughs> right. uh, it. And then I started to self um, punish that inner voice, those inner voices. It's all right, he said, you're crap. Oh, and she did, and she did, and he did, and he did, pulling in a whole mountain of obstacles in the way uh, when that, over one issue or something like that. And, and, and it's, it literally, Is self punishment. Yeah. To um, self P, I often hear people saying that someone's died out of their family, could be a distant cousin. It doesn't have to be somebody close, it could be a distant cousin. Someone's died. All of a sudden, what they've done is turn their old life out, use that situation to do nothing anymore. And then they head into depression and, and drinking or whatever they want to do as well. And here we go, the pattern again, another wasted life. Right. And then their excuses, oh, they died, you have no idea, yeah, I do. The idea of death is to live while you have opportunity. You know, you're not you're not going to stop the cycle of life and you have not got, the moral not promised. You know, when they say it's what's there, what's there but never comes, and that's tomorrow. Because by the time, you know, you get the point, you figure it out yourself, yeah? Right. What's there but never comes, it's tomorrow. And I, and I think... That change is good. All I can say is change is healthy to, to understand and allow someone to show you some some way, you know, of whatever you're looking for. Um, because change is good. It, it prevents suicide. It prevents fatality. It stops the alcohol um, and the addictions and the body collapsing on itself. It's preventing the younger children from picking up that pattern as well and then repeating the sit cycle as well so it's i think changing the thought process would if, if we could get this out there about this listening skills get that would stop a lot of the domestic violence that's going out there would stop a lot of the bad and unhealthy habits to stop think of the consequences Break it all down. And once you know, as you said, once you know, you know. And there's no going back. Right. You know what going back feels like. Right. I never want to sleep outside in the cold again, you know. <laughs> we know what going outside it feels like. So is change is good. And that's what you're saying. You're getting that message out. Amen. You still practicing? You still helping people? Where does anybody you want people to contact you with what you're doing? Uh, well, I mean, this is—I I thought this is just more or less a personal thing. 
uh, if they want to contact me, they contact you and you contact me. Yes, sir. You heard that. So if you want to know any further questions um, with Mr. Lloyd, then please do, you know, and contact me. But what are you doing? How did, um, you know what, what am I doing do? now? Yes, sir. Uh, like I said, I, I, I'm a coordinator for a domestic violence agency uh, uh, in a small town um, in Georgia. And uh, my job is to uh, oversee all the, uh, at least four programs. Uh, I help with uh, housing people. I help with uh, uh, making sure people are, are safe. I'm, I, I'm, I a network with all the other social service agencies in our community. Um, I'm, I'm the outreach coordinator. I wear like five different hats. I also uh, have an intern program where uh, different colleges send interns to me uh, and I teach them or uh, mentor them uh, uh, in social work and in somewhere in there you know i may teach you know the three principles or something like that i don't think you would uh you can't help it i'm afraid it's always right it oozes <laughs> it oozes out so. yeah it, yeah it's a way it's it's it, the assessment and knowing when so yeah. it's always within so yeah um i thank you so much for your awareness today um i do we come back and talk about that other project that you're doing that would be amazing so if, if you uh okay. if you I, I think we have uh, uh a connection so uh anytime you know you can give me a call anytime I do. it was a pleasure sharing with you yeah and your and your uh and uh all the people that watch uh your show <laughs> Yeah, look, you're joining on the mom project and you're sharing your awareness. What's it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Hold your best smile out. Thank you. <laughs> All righty. Bye. That was um, Lloyd Fields. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Just an opportunity to have a conversation stateside, UK side. Have, you know, is there, when you're coming through technology, is there a side at all? is an opportunity and that's what it was um so we give thanks to lloyd killed <laughs> incredible absolutely incredible thank you